Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Now, this is going to be about a more advanced pause menu. I know I said this for the longest time that I would get something out, um, but it's just taken a long time to uh, get around to doing it. So, this isn't uh, my script. This is the sort of script that you can find on the Unify community. It's the wiki unity3d.com and this is one of their more advanced pause menu scripts and you can get it in both javascript and c sharp and i'll um you know briefly go through the setups and the things that you can learn from it because um with working with menus and stuff it's not as advanced for the new um, user interface system but it's quite good to get into grips with how to increase and decrease uh, your quality settings, look at showing FPS if you need to, and look at changing a volume slider, more so in the older version of Unity, but also adds different buttons, locking the mouse cursor, so you, so you can actually learn a lot from the script, even if you've just had it, had a little look through the code, and you know, you can chop and change bits as you like. So all you do is when you've got the pause menu script, whether you've got it in JavaScript or C Sharp, it'll, you know, you can import it into your scene, all you need to do is if you drag and drop it onto your main camera, you'll see the script set up like this. Now, what you can do in with this style of GUI is create your own GUI skin. So if you go to the top and say assets create and GUI skin, then you can set the custom sort of GUI elements for your buttons and such. What it'll look like just really quickly to show everybody what's going on. If I look at this back wall, you can press escape and you'll get a little menu at the top. It'll have credits so you can write some things in your credits. And it's just got the copyright for the person who wrote the script. It's got an options menu so you can change audio, the graphics, you can increase or decrease the graphics there. You can look at adding some controls. You can get statistics like FPS so that you can see it in the corner within your game and it'll actually give you some details on your system if you need it so and then you can press escape to go back or there should be a little button at the bottom and then you can press continue to go back into your game so it's fairly straightforward in terms of the GUI styling so if I look at this side you can obviously add your own skin you can allow the game to be paused if you need to you can start it paused if you want you can lock your cursor if um, you want that to happen you can set the width and the menu height, you know, bearing in mind on what you like. The material is for a FPS graph if you want to see the graph actually on your screen. You can change all the things in the text boxes to have things for the credits so that you can see whatever, um, you know, you want to be um, your font or your text. Um, you can change the low and high FPS values, and it just shows that when the FPS values go to and from a certain point, they'll change colour just to sh see what you want. And then you can change what's in the help options, so you can add as many as you want. So I could add three, and if I press enter, then I could say that we need to press one to change weapons. And we can do whatever there and along with the credits you can change the size and you can add different lines and credit icons you can add some little pictures now as I say if I pause it again go to the options and then go to controls you can see that I added one to change weapons you can hide and show the cursor as you wish now if we quickly have a look at the script in modern develop you can see that there's just, um, it's quite a lengthy script, but it just has everything that you need to look at. So if we scroll on down, you can see at the start, it'll lock the cursor if it needs to. It's adjusting the time scale so we can pause and continue the game. Some of the more interesting things that we can look at is it's calling various different functions and different case statements. And here you can see that it's have a function with GUI um, layout and it's labeling um, things from your system it's also if we have a look at quality settings so you can see that you can call a quality setting by quality settings dot a particular item you can do quality setting dot decrease level and that's what 
decreases and increases your quality. You can see that there's an audio slider that's been created. You can see the stats control and you can show FPS quite easily with a simple little command. And it's just something to look through to get the hang of getting your own pause menu. But obviously you can use this as your standalone sort of item to make your own more advanced um, pause system in case you need some ideas. So, as I say, this wasn't my script. This was got gotten off the um, wiki, but it's really good for looking at how things work and if you need something more advanced in that way. So, thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.